Hello again. So we're ready to start on a negative regression. We're going to do everything just like we did the positive regression. We're going to find our minimum value of x. Should we call it 10? Our maximum value of x. Shall I call it 24? We're going to find a minimum y value. Looks like 7. A maximum y value. Looks like 15. We're going to calculate our estimate of x bar, that's where we add 10 plus 24, divide by 2, get 17. y bar, 7 plus 15, divide by 2, 11. We're going to estimate standard deviation of x. 24 minus 10 divided by 4. Standard deviation of y. That's 15 minus 7 divided by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And I need to estimate R. What might I call R in this oval? I might call it 0.85. Now, because it's going down, it's a negative 0.85. When I do my regression line, Everything works just the way it did for the positive regression line. My regression line goes through my point of averages. And so I say y hat is going to be my slope, which is 2 over 3.5 times r, negative 0.85 x plus my y-intercept. To find that y-intercept, I would use the point-slope form y minus the y-bar that we found, 11, equals 2 over 3.5 times negative 0.85 x minus 17. Well, 2 divided by 3.5 times a negative 0.85. I can round that to a negative 0.49. But when I take this quantity times the 17. I'm not going to use that rounded negative 0.49. I'm going to put those exact numbers in. And the negative times the negative is going to give me a positive 8.26. So if I add the 11 to both sides, y is negative 0.49x plus 19.26. And that's my regression line. I would expect my regression line to have a negative slope. And I would expect it to be crossing somewhere higher than 
14 by a fair bit. So that looks very reasonable to me. If I wanted to calculate the SD line, well, the SD line is y equals standard deviation of y over standard deviation of x times x plus the y-intercept. But these two standard deviations are positive, and my SD line must also have a negative slope. So when I calculate this, y minus my y-coordinate of my point of average is 11 equals 2 over 3.5 times x minus the x-coordinate of the point of average is 17. I have to force a negative sign. I have to make that slope be negative. It's the only time you get to pop a negative in in math just because you want one. But you get to here. Not only do you get to, you must. So. We have y minus 11 equals, now that would be approximately negative 0.57x. Negative times negative is going to go positive. But I'm going to multiply the fraction by my 17 to get 9.71. And now I add the 11 to it on both sides. The SD line is y equals negative 0.57x plus 20.71. Notice this time, the SD line must have a larger, steeper slope and have a higher intercept so that the regression line is flatter. The regression line is tending towards the horizontal. It's between the SD line and the horizontal. That gives you your regression line and your SD line. And that should get you through the regression project. Good luck.